we are here now. Sir, can you tell me why I'm here? That's what happened to foreign spies caught on Iranian soil. You are a spy. Played by Gael Garcia Bernal, Mazia Bahari, a London-based Iranian journalist, is detained in Iran whilst attempting to cover the 2009 presidential election. At the time, he was a Newsweek correspondent, but he was also filming video for Channel 4 News. These pictures he shot in June 2009 of protesters outside the state security, or Basij, headquarters in Tehran, showing the militia opening fire on an unarmed crowd. And after they were shown on Channel 4 News, he was arrested in his mother's flat. So began a 118-day ordeal. Mazia's captors accused him of being a spy and showed him a pre-election interview he had done with the American satirist Jason Jones from The Daily Show. This clip is the original interview. Oh. I didn't see it there. I asked him the question on every Westerner's mind. Why was his country so terrifying? In one word, misunderstanding. The two sides, they don't understand each other. They don't know the values of the other side. They don't know how to talk to the other side. And actually, I've written about that for Newsweek magazine several times. Yeah, I didn't understand a word of that. Mahmoud, can you translate this for me, please? This is The Daily Show with John Stewart. Now involved in the campaign for Maziar's release, John Stewart, who fronts The Daily Show, decided he would make the film Rosewater after he read Maziar's memoir. He took time off from his day job to direct it. And recently, he announced he would be leaving The Daily Show for good after 16 years and countless awards. In one poll, his unique way of revealing witty truths about incompetent leaders and failing institutions and interviewing just about anyone who's anyone won him the position of America's most trusted newscaster. But in truth, he's an educator. And John Stewart joins us live now from The Daily Show studio in New York. John, we used the pictures, you sent the satire, did you make this film out of a sense of collective guilt or was it something specific about Maziar's character? Uh, I think it was more something about Maziar's character. Uh, you, you can't feel guilty when someone utilizes something inane for their own authoritarian or, or idiotic purposes. You can't control that. But Maziar's memoir was so incredibly well done and, and so moving in that in how he reclaimed his humanity during that time of captivity. Uh, and he and I became very good friends. So it, it stemmed from that more than, I, I do a lot of things based on collective guilt, but not this one. And I mean, Iran is big in America and yet ignorance of Iran is big. It, it's tricky because this is the great moment for opening. And yet of course, the last image many people in America will have is your film. <laughs> well, no pressure. <laughs> uh, well, look, the, the level of dialogue between the two countries uh, at present exists uh, on our side. Uh, our President Bush included them in what was called the axis of evil, uh, which is a two-dimensional caricature. And on their side, they chant death to America. So uh, I figure that however uh, simplistic or unnuanced Rosewater may be to uh, a native Iranian, it's at least a level above uh, in terms of sophistication of the dialogue between the two countries. Hi, it's me, Jon Snow, here for you on YouTube. If you like that, why don't you watch my interview with Russell Brand? He says we need a political revolution and click subscribe to make sure you're up to date with all our videos. Go on, do it. Don't miss out.